Let me ask you this. You're an extremely positive person. We all know that. Uh, what's your thoughts on the, the extreme negativity on um, social media? What, what, well, is, what is all that about? Uh, I mean, so many people just lashing out uh, to, to complete strangers. Yeah. What is, I, I, I'm trying to understand that. And everyone that has a social media account has to deal with this shit. Yeah. What yeah. is going on there? Well, think about it. Um, there are different, every, everything people do, they have reasons for. Somebody tries to commit suicide, somebody who gives up their life for a stranger. Those are extremes. They both have reasons. There's only six real reasons I found in dealing with human beings around the world. There's six needs we have. We have a need for certainty, that we can avoid pain, that we can be comfortable, that we can have some pleasure. We have a need for variety, because if you're totally certain you're bored, right? And if you have tons of variety, you freak out. There's a balance. We have a need to feel significant, like we're unique or special or important. Everybody needs to feel that. Some people do it through money. Some do it through earrings and locations nobody wants to know. <laughs> Everybody's got different ways of doing it, you know? Um, some, uh, another need is the need for connection and love. Another one is growth. Another one is contribution. So these six needs drive people. And what I look for is what's the driving force? What's the top two? Because if your number one need is certainty, you're going this direction. If your number one need is uncertainty, you're going the opposite direction. And direction leads to destination or destiny. If I see what direction you're going, we can predict where you're gonna end up. So we live in a society where the two top needs in the majority of Americans is either certainty or significance. And why that's important is they're both valuable needs, but it's kind of like, if you know that somebody's phone number, you dial the wrong order, right number, wrong order, you're not gonna reach them, same thing with a vault. When significance or certainty lead, when certainty leads, you have to control everything and life is always changing and so you're, un, you're freaking out all the time or you're lying to yourself to try and pretend life is not changing. If significance is driving you, you're always comparing yourself to other people, which you have to lie to yourself and tell yourself you're better than everyone else, or you feel inferior, which then makes people overreact. So we live in a society, a Facebook society, where everything's about significance now, where people frame their life as this incredible situation, and other people feel depressed seeing this fake life someone else has projected. You know, they don't just send real pictures, they filter it, they change it, they do all those things. So in the world we're in today, how do you get significance? You either take risks, take challenges and try to achieve something, which you could fail and then you feel like you're worthless and unloved, or you can tear someone else down. You can build the tallest building or you can blow up a building. It took, what, 13 years to build the tower again, and it took what, two hours to burn it down, right? So when people are in media now, social media, there's no consequence. If you came to me and say, F you, you know, I don't give a shit. When I was five one, I would still fuck face you. you. Wait, we <laughs> curse here. He curses <laughs> so, at his so seminars, so but he, he won't curse on the radio. He saves it for the film. <laughs> yes. Okay. But you're right, there's a consequence. Yeah, but there's could... a consequence, right? You gotta face somebody and yes. deal. On on social media, there's no consequence. So the fastest way for me to get significance without a risk is I have the illusion I'm moving up if I can move you down. And so that's what we live in today. We live in a society where there are people, their entire focus is, I don't have any consequences. I go online and try to make myself feel good by tearing somebody else down. And if someone's successful, then they must be lucky or they're an asshole or they're manipulating or they're fake or whatever it is. Because otherwise I have to look at me and make a comparison and say, why is my life not where I want it to be? That's a little scary. What's a lot easier is to go, you're an asshole, <laughs> right? right? So that's what you see in social media. It's not going to change as long as there's no consequences. Right. So that's how it works.